They'll be calling you a radical. I want to talk about the nuclear scumbag propaganda bullshit. So people will just read headlines. That's what they are. You know, that, we know what this place is. They're overworked. They're freaking gonzoed. The great usury complex. What's a tariff? But I want to talk about this. Watts bar goes on. Let's talk about, this is the thumbprint, Belafonte's getting ready to go for sale. And you're like, well, they spent six billion on it, they're gonna sell for, you know, a few million. You know, Watts Bar, 44 fucking years. You heard me right, 44 years under construction. The cost of billions. Well, TVA just played that. Who the fuck do you think TVA? No, you paid for it. You, the taxpayer, paid. This is the greatest looting in human history. I want people to very much know. Why it takes so long? TVA, the Tennessee Valley Authority scumbags, and I mean, what a fucking crutch, and I don't mean fucking Charles. Yeah, he's from Knoxville. So, let's talk about this. The NRC, the Nuclear Regulatory Committee, which I call the Nuclear Rally and Cheerleaders, which Alice McFarland, I'm the only person that ever got into her face, she knows. Because she's smart, and she got thrown to the wolves, but she still represented them, and she threw, you know, she still kicked Barbara Boxer with all the committee out of there in this tail. These historic videos and these historic places that I've gone are just that. They're freaking historic, freaking documentation, really historic. Because she's not letting anybody get to her. You know, they'll grandstand, they'll go to MIT, Harvard, Yale, their clubs, and sit and have cheese balls and fucking, you know, champagne and tell each other how great they are. Kind of like the Antebellum South used to do that, give each other humanitarian awards. You know, slave owners. You know, Harry Beecher Stowe's parents were supposedly humanitarians, champions, just kind of like they do Lori Ponty as now. You know, like the hijacking of all these movements like Anonymous and everything. You think all these videos that are out there are anonymous, you really are dreaming. The hard coup grassroots freaking purity of the nature of the freaking activists that accomplish. Look, no activist is ever going to do anything in a homogenous freaking panty pandered way. It's got to be, it's going to be hardcore and it's going to be fucking radical. That's why it always has bez on the great fucking American Western fucking landscape. The fight with cancer is over. As my psychologist said to me, she says, you know, when I had one before I got, you know, I ran out of money. You know, I had about a million dollars. You know, I've learned to live half a life. She says, when this five year comes, you're going to go through an incredible transformation, period, because you're going to have no support network, Kevin. You're going to be on your own. You're going to go through a very lonely, lonely, hardcore time. We know that this, this 1% survivals, you know, when they come out and they think because that intense, tense, tense fight, because you're my, and you're all, you've been all in for five years. It's the, the transmission, the translation, the transformation period is really hardcore. And you know, you're gonna have to you're gonna find a way emotionally because you're gonna be, it's a very, and it's been written about historically, it's a very lonely place. I know that, you know, and the credit will never come. And I will quote Dr. Mitchell to me inside the bone right, Kevin, this hardcore amazing fight of yours. You know, cause they watched, you know, they were all over it, you know, you doing things in critical condition. What you've done is so historical, so incredible. It, it's amazing, but you're never going to get any credit. You know, you're not going to get any credit. You know that. And I said, I do know that. It's the purity of the fight. Michelangelo, his work was all panty painted low. But you're going to get a gift. And I said, I know the gift. We said it, all three of us, Fimbo, her, and myself at the exact same time. Life. Where do I sign up? I'll take it. Because I love life. I love the landscape. I hike every day. You know, my beautiful places. I watch it fucking go away, and I'm so heartbroken to watch the Pacific Ocean be dead and killed by these fucking evil, sick, fainting fucking American poppies and goats who don't give a fuck. Print media. I want people to know the TVA dynamic, the head of the NRC then, was caught in collusion and hardcore corruption, was convicted of felony fucking corruption. So did he go to prison? Of course not. But he was banned from working in the industry. It was our group that exposed during the San Onofre when it blew up. And again, more historical fucking footage and videos. You know, she says, I understand your YouTube site, how you went all crazy in, you know. Fimbo says, I understand your environmentalism, you know, with that central line, what timing? What, you know, intensity, you know, you gotta be loud, you gotta be crazy, and you gotta be freaking intense. You know, the squeaky wheel has to freaking stand out. Has to in this fucking crowded thing. They got it, I got it, the fight, you know. Pollock fucking dripping, fucking Michelangelo, they panty painted over his work. Let me fucking die, I'm 88, freedom eyes and blower the intense, hiding in the fucking woods, fucking being trying to fucking kill the attack of the popular culture, fucking the fuck, you know, look at Brown, the abolitionist, the most wanted man now we celebrate, you know, hardcore, the hardcore fight. The head of the NRC at that time we exposed, now how is this possible? 
This is the corruption of the club. Was working for the California Public Commissions as a consultant. He was on their board. Yep. This is the hairsprayed masquerade fucking party we live in. The fucking nuclear fucking crime syndicate is the capitulation to all this. I've known this. You know, all in. The great western fucking drought, the great, which I hypothesized all this. Well, it's going to give you leukemia, it's going to give you leukemia, it's going to, and then I got leukemia. I finished up my radio show today, did my last one. You know, my organic purity has to remain. You know, I'm not going to be contemporized. And I'm so glad that my view count has gone down. I really am happy about it. I told an activist in L.A. this summer, I said, watch this. I've gotten way too popular. Order. I've got to really piss people off and get the weak hands the fuck out of here. Because I cannot become contemporized because then I'm not effective and it will not work. It's kind of like what's happened to Anonymous. It's kind of like what's happened to WikiLeaks. It's kind of what's happened. It's just the natural migration and the evolution, not me. Oh, fuck no. Out of this whole group, there was a surgeon right over here who used to argue with me. He got cancer at the same time I did. Oh, he's non Hodgkin's lymphoma, fucking aggressive. I used to, you know, Jen, all these different people, you know, and I tried to get him to fight. Hated me. Hated my style. Whatever. This guy was such a prick to me, whatever. You know, and I said, well, he went back to his old way. He, oh, he had to beat his obituaries in the paper. The fight's hardcore. A lot of people have been in this site. We went into Dana's room as she was dying last video. This historic footage and these historic videos. This fucking nuclear c crime syndicate is so fucking grotesquely fucking corrupt it is unbelievable. My work will stand the fucking time. This greatest PhD that ever did, I hypothesize, it's gonna give you leukemia, it's gonna give you leukemia. You know, I get leukemia, who knew? It's gonna cause the Great Pacific Genocide. Science fiction, black and yellow media horrors, I mean, I can go on and on, and they're all mine. The Great Pacific Genocide, hypothesized, it's, I never said it was gonna kill the Pacific Ocean all the way, I said the opposite. For I fight for her, she fights for me. She's gonna fight back, it's gonna kill you. It's gonna kill the ecology, Ed Ricketts on Balco. He never had a fucking marine biology degree, did he? Huh? He was right. I walked the whole coast of California, did the work, fuck, I'm the first guy exposing the fucking starfish dead. First guy talking, it's starving sea lions coming around. Everybody fucking fought back on me. I used to police my fucking site, walk critical condition, one fucking hike. Fucking, everybody thought I was gonna die. It's fucking so sick, it was unbelievable. It used to take me hours and hours to police the fucking wolves and the trolls and the fucking temperate sheep. But I knew published this was the place. This is our fucking hope. The great equalizer has it's been over fucking done and fucking slaughtered. Oh yeah. I mean, these fucking insanity took the field because they're not willing to do the fucking work and walk across the landscape and the the lodging the apprenticeship takes a long place boy shut the fuck up and get to fucking work you're way too pretty that pin that was my special forces father i knew the fucking path on this great western landscape is a fucking hardcore bloody fucking the great american experiment is fucking paid in blood but this time they went too far the great fucking pacific giant i said the salmon will collapse in five years the biggest year of year collapse everything i hypothesized to this tea i said it will create a heat source bringing star power to earth where'd you sleep last night it'll kill the fucking pines i've been saying that for how long it killed all the fucking pines this heat source bringing star power to earth as i protest and live you think about the places i've done and the fucking things that i've done historically you know i mean think about some of the fucking historic radio shows that i've done on location <laughs> you know People can't see. Well, they didn't see fucking Michelangelo's work either for 400 years. You know, that bunker's just been exposed and he was hiding it. They wanted him dead. All his work's panty painted over all of it. You know, same with Jackson. They tried to, I mean, fuck Betty Parsons in that thing, let him in, he never sold a painting. Fucking Vincent never sold a fucking painting. You know, did he kill himself? It looks like they probably shot him. It's, you know, it's amazing. This journey and this fucking walk. Watts Bar goes on. 44 years, billions of dollars. Belafonte for sale. You know, there's one of those reactors. Freedom Eisenbauer blocked that thing in Vienna. Because the Austrians have fucking had so much blood for so long. They finally got it right. They don't let those fuckers in. In Denmark. Been pillaged and fucking pummeled by the Prussians so many times. We have very low. Oh, did they get it right? Because it takes the pain and it takes the path. What a hardcore evolution. This country hasn't had enough, I guess. Oh, they're gonna get it. You know, this apathetic fucking baby boomer, echo boomer, fucking the greatest ignorant population. And they, I did the greatest PhD. Real traditional PhDs have nothing to do with universities. They have to do with a doctrine. You create a doctrine. Fluctonium and this fucking heat source off the Pacific Ocean is going to fucking kill the plankton. The eco chain's gonna collapse. Fucking sardines, fucking all the way to fucking wells. 
It's going to cause a fucking ripple effect and fucking destroy. It's going to cause a heat bubble over the western United States that's going to cause the greatest drought. The Great Salt Lake's going to go around the boat of fucking Mold Gray. I've been saying that for fucking five years, all of it. Everything I've hypothesized. But then you have to do the field work. It's going to give you leukemia. Why are critical conditions? Sleeping on park benches in fucking things. Start of the million mass march. Fucking walking in it. Fuck you. Think about that fucking path and journey and what I've accomplished and what I've done. The greatest PhD maybe in human fucking history becomes the doctrine. You have to fucking hypothesize this is the new doctrine, the new fucking reality. Then you have to fucking do the work. Then you defend your work. It's all right here. Not gonna happen, could happen. It's done. It's fucking done. The fucking nuclear industry madmen did fucking what they wanted to do. Fucking destroy the ecology, kill the fucking ecology. The Great Pacific Genocide is the greatest fucking event in fucking human history. The collapse of the Pacific Ocean, the collapse of the trees in California, the salmon collapse in fucking Oregon, the fucking drought that epic goes across this fucking western fucking landscape, the cancer epidemic that has ravaged and fucking raged. You can go deny all the fuck you want. That's the way it always is, right? That's the way it always is. Fucking Semmelweis standing on the fucking scripts of Vienna. It, these fucking little invisible fucking germs are going to think that had been hypothesized even a hundred years before fucking Semmelweis fucking did it. Oh, you're crazy. Fucking them little fucking germs can't, can't fucking kill people. That's blasphemy. You know, it's generational arrogance. What is the definition of organized religion? Generational arrogance. Who's the most generational arrogant fucking populist in the human fucking history of mankind? The American baby boomer, bye bye bomber. Fucking nuclear energy. I hear the voices of my great-granddaughters. First, they come for the buffalo slaughter. Natives killing them right down to the last one. Cut down all the fucking sequoias, the fucking pine tree, the great American fucking landscape. But this time, they came for the Pacific. And you killed yourself. The epic fight with cancer, you think it's just some fucking homogenous thing. I think about it, what I went through and the fucking emotions that I went through and the hardcore brutal fight. You don't know. You don't know what I know. It's impossible. But it's fucking brutal. It's hardcore. It's heartbreaking. To all the angels that have passed in front of me, I fight for you. For the people that are dying of cancer, who are fighting, fuck whatever, we all must, fuck, we're all gonna go, it's God's plan, right? No one gets out alive. We must die with dignity. We must die in the fight. We don't just lay down, do we? We don't go down south. We show our children, we show our grandchildren the great fight. My father showed me. He fought to the bloody fucking end. And he died. Annika showed me she fought fucking me, you know, so that I could live. Isn't that what the great activist does? Spit on, fucking thrown at, fucking called every name in the fucking book. No fucking support, fucking, I mean, I think about it. Teed up, fucking lied to, fucking set up, trolled, fucking thing. Wow, wow, why on critical condition of fucking disease is so brutal and hardcore? Wow, TVA, what a bunch of fucking lies. The nuclear regulatory, the nuclear rally cheerleaders, I call them. The corrupt fucking scumbag that they are. They did it. Mission accomplished. Fucking talk about destroying the fucking earth. Maybe we can save it with some cannabis chemtrails, huh? Stay in tune.